How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome to Backyard Football or Backyard Sports Rookie Rush. Just like the Backyard Baseball series I finished a few weeks ago, we're going to be doing the story mode here on Backyard Football now. I'm going to start a brand new story mode. We're going to go through this the same way I did the baseball one. And based on the comment section in that first video I made, you guys wanted to see Leon Daniels Jr. So you're going to get Leon Jr. And I cannot believe you can only pick 1 through 19. Basically, 1 through 19 is kickers, some receivers, and quarterbacks, and punters. Give me the 20s. Come on, man. Well, Leon is was number 69. I guess we're not going to be going with that this time. So what the heck would I want to make Leon now? All right, we're going to go with number 15 for Leon Daniels. Why? Because I had to pick a number, and it's one of the options. So it's just a lucky number, I guess. I'm actually impressed with the amount of options you get here to customize the way your team looks. So this is Leon Daniels Jr. Again, the Jr. wouldn't fit in the name. He's number 15, and this is what the uniform looks like. Alright, so I have five additional stars. Speed is definitely important, so is all of these. We're going to give this last one to skill. So right away, four speed, four skill, three power. Now, yes, I would. What can I do? Oh my! I, I like these options. This is sweet. Okay. So I get to drain this bar as much as I need to in each spot. This is actually pretty darn cool. So we're going to make top speed a, t a priority. Um, elusiveness is going to be important. Actually, you're not going to really be struggling with too many of these things. They're pretty kind to you in that regard. Maybe I'll do a little bit more endurance. Um, throwing, definitely key. Catching, oh, awareness. Yep. This is definitely going to impact defense, so that's going to be pretty high. And I don't want to be too ponderish on this, so we're going to make throwing. Well, that's probably pretty ponderish right there, but we're going to live with it. Power, we'll go blocking, tackling, sturdiness, that to me is broken tackles. So, I'm going to make this fairly even across the board for power. Well, that's the way we're going. I, I like this depth, though. I'm impressed. We're going to play on hard difficulty, see how things go. Two-minute quarters. I think the last one was on three. I can't remember, but I think two will give us a decent length of game. We'll try it out and see how things go. But hard difficulty, two-minute quarters. Let's play some backyard football. Hey, I got a parking ticket there. Hey, there's my bank. Hey, remember when Jimmy Knuckles played that game there? Memories. Don't eat there. Hey, look, it's the Backyard Kids. That's right, Ron, the Backyard Kids, fresh off a thrilling baseball season, turn their attention to football. Go along, Dimitri. <laughs> Ooh. Not my fault. Hey, wait. Where'd that monkey come from? Once the dust had settled on Dimitri, the kids saw the flyer announcing Phineas's fantastic football funfair. The grand prize was not only the coveted Phineas Cup, but being on the cover of the newest backyard sports video game. Captivated by dreams of glory, each kid pictured themselves racing the cover of the game. Mmm, mmm, donuts. However, it wasn't long before their dreams of glory were shattered. Ha! Ah, literally. Ace Patterson and his family burst onto the scene, each a football virtuoso with Ace, the cream of the crop, out to win it all. Both the trophy and the video game cover. Uh-oh, he's good. To be the last one standing, one of them would have to beat Ace. They set off to build their teams, each with a dream of glory in their head. I dream of donuts. So we're not worrying about Jimmy Knuckles this time around. Baseball's over. Now it's all about Ace Patterson, who has a pretty awesome name. Congratulations, you've just earned this award. Keep up the good work. I haven't even done anything, and I got an award. Welcome to Meadowbrook. 
We're assembling our team just like in Backyard Baseball, but I'm only seeing three different games to kick this off. And obviously, last time around I added Pablo, first time I could, because Pablo Sanchez was the guy that we needed right away. We might do it again, although my first game was with Pablo Sanchez at Pablo's Sandlot. I might play at Meadowbrook Field just because it's a nicer field. But I only see three games here, so maybe it'll open up some more later, or, or maybe it's a super short um, uh, game or something. But we're going to go play the Downtown Thunder to kick this off. Maybe Pablo next time. But let's play some football. I'm ready. Oh, I can... Okay. Yeah, I don't want to watch the game. I want to play it. The rising oh, come on. You can put Leon's name and picture there. I mean, I know he's not any good. His dad, anyway, but you can at least show Leon Jr. some love. Anyway, are they really letting Leon kick? I didn't even pick a position for Leon. So I think he's going to be quarterback or something. Look at that. Leon misses the first tackle of the series, and it's a short field. Our defense was tough. I learned that in that first episode. I think that was on hard difficulty as well. That's obviously what I'm on this time. We'll play here in the spy. Can I switch players up? Good. Because I like controlling the corners. Uh, oh, that was... You were definitely beyond the line of scrimmage. I want a replay. All right, bringing the blitz this time. They go three wide. Come on, it's going to be Leon. Oh, they go the other way. Leon, you missed. Oh, you get back up and look at the tackle by Leon Daniels Jr. He now has as many career tackles in backyard football as his dad has in the Minnesota Dynasty. Okay, we're playing a coverage this time, or a focus on coverage, only rushing two. And come on, diving catch. You got to make the tackle. That was Leon who wouldn't make the tackle. It's going to pick in the end zone here. Only one wide out. This is going to be a run of some sort, probably. And there it is. Halfback going nowhere. Well, forcing a field goal here would be huge. I think I just called a really stupid play, so I'm not going to actually blitz that corner. End zone incomplete. No, no. He got his feet down. Okay, that was kind of cool. It's going to be 7 nothing probably. Here is the replay. A wobbler. And somehow his toes stayed in the end zone. And here we go as I don't know where Leon is. But we got someone else over here on the return. And I don't know how to do any moves yet. So I just got to remember that up on the right stick is something called barge. Which is probably what would be the equivalent to the truck stick. Dive is down. Juke is left and right. Let's try to run it as Leon Daniels is playing quarterback. I'm not sure how I feel about this. But the box is stacked. Good luck to Toby Gerhardt Jr. there, number 32. And here it is, Toby outside. I don't know what his real name is, but if they're not going to tell me, I'll make it up as I go. So it looks like we have a tight end who's number 88. We'll call him Greg Olson. We got a number two number 15s for some reason. So we got Greg Jennings Jr. and, of course, Leon and then Toby Gerhardt. So that'll work. I got to call him something. And, okay, Leon. I was out of bounds. And... No! He, that's not an interception! That is the exact opposite! There were so many problems with that play! I was out of bounds when I threw it. He did not come down in bounds. These are different rules. So it's 7 nothing, and we're on defense. And Keisha back to pass. One-on-one -on -one coverage. What are you doing? Come on! I know this is hard difficulty, but it doesn't mean you can't just not do anything right. All right, we're going to go empty backfield. Quarterback sweep, not against the stack box. We have actually them outnumbered on the outside, and now they switch it up, of course. So anyway, it's Leon. Oh, my goodness, come on! This is not going to be a good intro to the series. Oh, what, again? I went to throw it! Oh, it's um third and 43. And, oh, they're blitzing, too. Wow, that guy jumped over, and what was that?! Why can't we complete a pass? This is hard difficulty, and the game is just like, all right, you asked for it. 14 nothing, and we're punting. There it is. Nice punt, actually. And that's a pretty good catch. He's going to get a return out of this. I don't think he was. Whoops. Okay. 
Was that first video on medium or hard? I will have to look back, I guess. I don't know. I think it was on hard. I could be wrong. Anyway, there's the pitch back. Come on. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is bad football. This isn't even football at this point. And they missed the extra point. So that's the best thing to happen to us this game. And they broke what appears to be a window. It's 20 to 0. Not much more room for error. And we got to get some help on defense. But we have not moved the ball on offense. So it begins now, Leon. It's all up to you to help lead this team to get back in the game. We're going to flip the play, run our toss to Toby Jr. Here it is. And you could at least hit the outside linebacker and make a block if you're that close. It's third down and 19. Leon back to pass. All right, who's it going to be? Across the field, deep, intercepted by the guy covering Greg Jennings Jr. What a start. All right, give me the corner. I will take care of business here on the outside, probably. What? That should have been a pick. It's all about timing these user picks. The Oh, the slant, I wasn't ready for, and then I went off my guy because he was more open, and I made a mistake. All right, we're going to start blitzing. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one across the board. We're going to blitz Leon. We're going to trust him. End zone! Come on! I nearly picked that one off. you got to be really close. not giving you much leeway. Either. Your aim has to be really solid. So it's 27-0. to zero. This is not good. Come on. You can at least make someone miss, right? Hey, that guy missed, and then a big tackle as we get to work. Come on. Let's get some positive yards here. It's Toby on the outside. Whoa! Goodbye! That works for me! Touchdown! We are finally on the board. Give me the corner. I am going... Oh, that's a full start. And wow. No tackling. Come on, guys. We need to turn over here bad. There's the quarterback, and down goes Keisha Phillips. Nice tackle, Leon. Let's at least force a field goal here. We can call that a success. A step in the right direction. Keisha going for it, and a big hit by Leon Daniels. Did not get it. And Keisha Phillips kicks the field goal, so that's a start. It's 30 to 20, or 30 to 7. I'm about to get the ball, 34 seconds. Let's get a decent return now. 30 seconds to go in the half. Oh, and the juke. Oh, there's a big tackle, but we have decent field position. Let's cut this lead. All right, we're down by 23. Leon, just run for it. That's okay. We'll take seven yards. We'll be spreading them out. 22 seconds to go, and they blitz. There it is. And diving is Toby Gerhardt Jr. Goodbye. Touchdown. We're coming back in this game. It looks like we'll take one more play and go to the end zone. Okay, well, what we're going to do... Well, why is there a blitz in there? Okay, we're going to call a spy, so it's... I'm just going to play deep safety with Leon. And they run the draw. Okay, look at Leon Daniels with the decleter. And that's the end of the first half. All right, a poor start, but we're only down 16 now and getting the ball to open the third quarter. Come on, 95. Sharif Floyd changes number, so I can't call you Sharif Jr. Let's get this sack yardage back. Wide open! Greg Jennings Jr. with the catch. Third and 14 isn't so bad. They only bring two. They're in a zone. Come on, I want to hit Toby Jr. there. That's tough. Yeah, that sucked. And you know what? We're going to play aggressive. We're going for it. If we kick off, if we... Okay, if we miss it, okay. Then they're going to get the ball here. But if we went down and scored or whatever, you know, they probably have the ball right here anyway. So, whoops, I just called a play. I don't even know what I called. Uh, let's call crosses. We got to get the first down here, guys. It's third or fourth and 14. Going deep and got Greg Jennings Jr. Doesn't matter if he stepped out of bounds. It's different rules that I don't even understand and are made up on the fly. And we are going to go for two to make it a one score game. They're going to switch up their defense, and here we go. They blitz. Lee, what? 
Leon rock solid into the end zone. 30 to 22. All right, we're going to drop back into the zone again. Only bring two guys. And oh, no, I could not use it. Oh, at least we have to tackle. Second down and 15. Come on, guys. Cover. Touchdown. And, and there goes the one score game. I have no clue what that banana upgrade is, but I'm just going to assume it's like Mario Kart, which I'll be playing more of this week. Anyway, do I want to go deep? Yes, I do. Taking a chance! And that guy picked it off again. The second time. No, he's not pick sixing this. And they spread us out. They love doing this quarterback run, and we don't get the tackle right away. And it's the third one. I'm not even sure if that was Leon. First down and 10. Oh, and the flats. Oh, no. That's the guy who has two picks. And he just made a nice move. All right. We're blitzing. They're probably going to go to the run again. And. Oh, come on. I should put all my points in the tackling. This is bad. I miss the way the old backyard football and baseball games were, though. Anyway. Oh, you're going to leave him wide open. Works for me. Leaping for the catch. Goodbye! Defense. Touchdown! We got a blitz, gotta get some pressure, create a fumble, anything. What does this do? Look at that! That works! I shouldn't have used it on first down, but it's a loss of seven. By the way, I think the person I've been calling Greg Jennings Jr. is actually a girl. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, they're spreading the field again. Are you gonna run it? No, but they're wide open! Pick that! Knockdown! Come on. Third down and 17. Good coverage. Pick that. Thank you very much. That's one turnover. And we're going to take this. Not to the end zone, but we got good field position. So, okay. I said we needed the turnover. Probably another one after this now. As we are in the fourth quarter. Anyway, we need two touchdowns. We're going to go deep to the end zone. Come on. Throw it with some strength. Well, I wasted that good opportunity. And wow. So much for coverage. Just over a minute left. And avoiding the sack. End zone and wide open. All right, we're going to try this. Watch that. And uh, probably not the best usage of the leapfrog, but it got us a few yards. We're desperate now. It's a 21-point game again. Been picked off a couple times. Leon's not the greatest quarterback. Ooh, wide open. And get in there. Touchdown. All right, guys, a 14-point game. Chances are slim. Uh, I think the, the issue is I'm using my turbo. And what is happening is I don't have enough, like, skill, whatever, that bar to actually make tackles. At least right away. So I gotta cool it on the whole turbo. Anyway, I got the leapfrog again. There's a stop. Come on, guys. Just knock it loose. Give me a big fumble here. We need two touchdowns in 35 seconds in the running clock. Outside. No, no, no. Don't let him do that to you. All right, leapfrog this time. And, oh, over. That really did not work as well as I thought it would. Come on, forced fumble right here. And missed touchdown, and that's probably going to do it. So in the first game, it looks like Leon Daniels Jr. and his team, whatever we're called, will not be victorious against the downtown thunder there were some turnovers and some issues with the defense but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more let me know in the comment section as well as leave a like but you know if you guys do want me to continue this i think i'm going to try to keep it on hard for at least one more game and hopefully it'll be better i don't think it could be worse than this time i got off to a rough start then it got a little bit better we did get one turnover forced a couple at least one field goal i forget how many we forced but that is it for this video guys hope you enjoyed and maybe leon daniels jr will win next time see you guys later have a great day